What's going on? Mike McFarland here, owner of McFarland Fishing, the Lake Fork Guide, and your host of McFarland's Corner, and all the rundowns and lessons and good information that we produce right here in the studio. Um, a little bit of a end of the year rundown. This is a public rundown, a free public rundown, a basic public rundown. Give you some information about the lake, give you some information about the fishing on Lake Fork. Um, and uh, hope that it helps you catch more fish. So here we go. <clears throat> Starting with the lake level. It's amazing um, the roller coaster ride that we've had the last couple of years. In 2022, we were nine feet low. In 2023, we were full pool. Um, and we were, right now, we're really one foot one foot nine inches below full pool. Um, so I'm certain that with any amount of late winter spring rains, we're going to reach full pool. In fact, this year, unlike several of the past, they'll probably have to open the gates again and let water flow out, um, which really, really changes things um, as the fishing patterns begin. The fish on Lake Fork don't like the current when they open those gates, uh, it, it can really change things. But water temperatures are most important. Um, 50 to 53 degrees is the main water temp right now. Zero to one clarity. With all the rain and the rising lake, which it's, again, it's risen from 400.60 400 last week to 401.28 now today. Every 0.25 is three inches. So we had a good six, seven inches at least of increase in the lake or more, made the backwaters pretty dirty and cold. It's cold water. I always say I don't like cold water. I don't care for muddy water for bass fishing. I really just don't like cold, muddy water. So I recommend that if you do go up into the fingers arms and you go back, um, unless it's a big warm trending day, no winds, high sun, warm training because the warm or the dirty water will absorb more sun and warm up faster. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. If we're cold trending like we are right now, this weekend's gonna be cold. It's cold, cold at night and covering plants to keep from freezing, you need to go deep. Um, when I say deep on fork in the wintertime, man, it can be anywhere from 18 to 35 feet of water. The key is to look for the balls of bait, and you want the masses of bait, not just the little balls of bait. You want the big masses of bait. Um, you'll find them in the creek swings. You'll find them on ledges. You'll find them out off of long points that have deep breaks. Um, you'll find them mainly in the creeks, um, in the deep creeks and creek swings. Um, but with 50 to 53 degree water temperature, the shallow bites just not really going to be there, uh, especially during cold trends. Um, if we turn around in a week or two and have big warm trends where the low is 50 degrees and the high is 75 degrees, things might change with that shallow water within a day or two of warm trending weather. So right now I suggest you stay deep. Stay deep um, even on roads, culverts and roads can be really good. Hard bottom areas, concrete, bridges, culverts, like I said, bridge corners, bridge walls. Um, things like the Alabama rig is really good to slow roll deep. Um, deep diving jerk baits can be really good and you fish them real slow. Soft plastics, obviously, like um, Texas rig brush hogs and things like that. Um, again, down in those creeks with the jig is probably your best bet. That's how I would fish Lake Fork. I would get in the creeks and the creek swings with a jig um, and I would fish real, real slow. There would be some specific things that I'd be looking for in those creek swings to make higher percentage of odds of fish being there. And one of them being bait fish. If the bait fish are present, likeliness is kind of like a deer feeder. If the deer feeder is full of corn, at some point the deer are probably going to visit the feeder to eat. It's the same thing. That's why you want to be with bait fish. That's one of my most important things I can tell you. Um, I want to wish you all a happy new year. Um, because by the time the next report comes around next Tuesday, it will be the new year. Um, so, you know, if you're fishing this weekend, I really recommend, number one, deep like I've suggested already, um, but you may want to visit another lake. Um, you may want to go to, you know, another lake in the area that has more vegetation, um, a lake that maybe even is a power plant lake like Lake Welsh that has hot water. You've got Martin Creek, you got Brandy Branch, you got Lake Welsh. Those are the, 
the, within a two hour drive, any direction there that you can hit a warm water lake. I mean, a lot of times during the cold spells, that makes more sense to have better success in the winter time. Just if you want to just have fun and catch fish. But if you're here for the giant fish, the really big fish on pork, um, the two suggestions I have, number one is the one I said, creek bends and creek swings, live scope, find them suspending in the mouths of the open water coves, the mouths of the creeks, Sus find them suspending in the trees and hit them with jerk baits, um, and or night lights. Night lights throughout the lake produce giant, giant fish this time of year. December and January, fishing night lights can produce some of the best big bass fishing of your lifetime. Uh, so that's it. That's what I got for you. Um, remember that if you're staying at Lake Fork Marina, um, remember to say hi to the folks in the store. Shop the store. They got a really cool shop there. It's like a mini bass pro shop. It looks so cool and it's just it's so well kept. Hit the restaurant, Jamie's restaurant. Jamie's food is outrageous. It's so good. It's priced right. It's lots of handmade things daily, and then the pies. They hand make the pies all the time. Fresh, handmade, world famous, world class pies. Um, so remember, if you're in the area, hit that. Um, and um, other than that, hey, I'm going to invite you to come over to my members only channel, as I always do. Um, in the description below this video, you will find a link to the members only channel. Uh, in that members only channel, I give a much more detailed report than you get here publicly. It is not free. It's a $4.99. It ranges from $4.99, I think $6.99, or even $9.99, depending on what you pick. Uh, but you can become an upgraded member, and you get access to much, much more information, more detailed, more you know, color baits, types of baits, the juice, as we call it. You get the hot, what's hot right now, how are we catching them right now? And in addition, you get lessons, you get hourly, I got 40 lessons in the archive that are all 50 minute long. Um, but here's the kicker. I have about five fishing guides that we do the Texas Insider Fishing Report with um, throughout about six months out of the year. But we continue doing the reports from those five guides here on this channel, on the Members Only channel. And we give information for Lake Lebon, Possum Kingdom, Hubbard, OHIV. Palestine, Tawakini, Athens, Lake Welsh, we get, you get a whole lot more bang for your buck. This is a free channel and I'm grateful. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want more, again, look in the description below the video, click on members only link and follow the procedure. We'd love to have you there. I'm going to close you out with thanks. A big shout out to all the sponsors, J-Hot Chevrolet, Skeeter Bass Boats, Diamond Sports, Yamaha, Texas Insider Fishing Report, Florida Insider Fishing Report with Captain Rick Murphy and Murphy's Out, Murphy's Law Sport Fishing, Abu Garcia, Berkeley, Powerpole, Bass Assassin, Bahio Sunglasses, Tidelines UV, Lake Fork Trophy Lures, Impact Lures, Santone Lures, Real Time Rods, Magic Reaction, Lake Fork Marina Motel, Jamie's Restaurant, Omaha the Pie, Go Fish Lures, Steve's Custom Prop Shop, which I just heard some really good things again, once again, about Steve's Custom Prop Shop. And just awesome customer service and great workmanship on the props. The Original Rod Socks, Sign Shop, Burning Stump Lodge, Lake Fork Resort, Tackle Co-op, and Jamie's Jacked Up Designs. Jamie's Jacked Up Designs does all of our shirts, t-shirts, things. We're going to be doing hats soon. Um, and we're having a new banner made for 2024. So thanks to all of those that support and sponsor us. Thanks to you for watching. Hit the like button. Comment below if you have any questions. Hit me up, 602-826-1524 if you want to book a trip. Um, they're filling fast for the year of 2024. The spring season is, is, is filling really fast. I suggest if you're thinking about fishing with me during spring, you better do it now. But thanks again, Mike McFarland, The Lake Fork Guide, wishing you great fishing and a happy new year.